a reading of the New Testament as rendered by the Gullah people of the, uh, you know, down there at Sea Island, back there, by the Ogeechee River, that kind of people, you know. Uh, and it's the uh, New Testament as transposed by them from the uh, New Testament, uh, the King James Version of the New Testament. And, uh, you know, well, in this particular book with the, with the Gullah Bible here, you have, you have the um, Old English there, you know, the Christopher Marlowe language. And then you have the, uh, what do you call that? The Gullah, the Gullah Geechee, the Gullah language right there. And we go, as usual, we go to any page. Let me go all the way in the back. And been all the way in the back a long time. One John. Okay. Oh, let's look at one John there. One John three. One John three, uh, let's do John one three seven. Oh, let's do my glasses so we can actually read this. Uh, me the children must John le nobody get honor for stop follow the true way. The one with the live for do the right thing that the one what right in God I just like Christ right and seven translation is little children let no man deceive you he that doeth righteousness is righteous even as he is righteous okay that's a little twister there okay and as usual we we read this twice First in the Gullah Geechee Geechee. Uh, again, page uh, 827, 1 John 3, 7. Me, the children, must John let nobody get on a for stop follow the true way, the one with the live for do the right thing, that the one what right in God I, just like Christ right. And the translation, again from the uh, Gullah Geechee through the well, Old English. Little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth, doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. Okay. Oh, that was a, that was a chore. And that's, oh, this is a Saturday. Saturday, we try to explain what, 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 what's going on. I read from the uh, Gullah Bible at least six times a week, though, it's, well, somewhere around there. And uh, I started doing it uh, uh, basically because uh, I have Gullah Geechee in my, uh, I guess you would say Gullah Geechee's after, the, well, don't worry about it, um, in my, in my uh, maternal side. Um, my great-grandfather was uh, from the Gullah peoples um and so i i use it i use the, the the bible this book here because remember when uh when the bible came out it was like uh i should say when a, when a newly freed uh Gichi people the newly freed people uh the reason why they became literate to my eyes so quickly was because they had the whole bible to look look after it was the only book around and so they just translated it, and, and that's how they learned how to be literate so quickly, because they had a they had a guide to go by. And so I just use it, just I mean, I use it somehow to connect with my with my lineage, with my 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 maternal Gichi lineage. Um, it's been kind of interesting and helpful. Well, it's been very interesting and helpful. Um, if nothing else, it's connect you with your lineage, with your roots. Um, so anyway, so this is a Saturday, and we try to explain everything what what we've been what we do <laughs> six out of the seven times, yeah, whatever it is. Um, also, first of all, oh, this is a kente cloth that I got a long time ago. I don't even remember where I got it from, what circumstance was, but I used that uh, when I, I adorned myself. Um, I I, mean, I adorned myself to. Uh, uh, when I when I read when I read out of the Gullah, out of the Gullah Bible, and one of the things other things I do is I, I use this 
cap here. As you see, it's, it's styled a certain way because I think of I think of it as an ecumenical uh, garment, <laughs> ecumenical topping. Because you know the priests and stuff. So that's what I'm done. Actually, it is ecumenical as far as I'm concerned because uh, these are the the colors that you see in this. It's a we see it's green with a bit of red there, and here it's black on the inside. So it's basically this is a cap. It's, it's red, black, and green cap. I need to put that on. Um, and those are the, the, the those are the Santeria colors for Ogun. Um, Ogun is a a uh, is a deity that is known throughout the world. Actually, it's got a lot of followers and all that stuff. But it's a deity that comes from the Yoruba um, uh, West African culture uh, when it was uh, well when it was Yoruba, and then when that whole uh, situation came over to Brazil and Candomblé. Uh, then Ogun again survived that, and it was called Condomble, but Ogun and Condomble. In fact, Ogun's colors in Condomble is blue and white. Ogun's color in, um, in Yoruba is blue. But interestingly enough, Ogun um, color in Santeria, which comes from the uh, Yoruba strain, I mean, there's a Yoruba strain that goes through, um, what do you call that, goes through um, Cuba, and that goes to North America. That's the, that's the Santeria one. And there's this Yoruba strain, um, uh, well, that one that came through, um, came through uh, what do you call that Cuba to the United States. That's the that's the Condomble, or rather the um, uh, the Santeria strain. And the, those Yoruba people, uh, their colors are again black, red, with a, rather black, green, and a bit of red. So that's why there's a distinction and all that stuff. Uh, um, but Yoruba, I mean, you know, Ologun, I should say exists all over the world you know in fact uh here uh, here in the akan this is a con here this symbol here is a con symbol right there that's an akan symbol uh and it says what it says it, mean, <laughs> it means exactly what it says wisdom knot so that symbol is a symbol of the wisdom knot and i've, I've taken to that symbol because well i strive <laughs> For wisdom and unnodding wisdom, or somehow it all works out together like that. Um, but that's it. But oh, and so the red, the the uh, the red, black, and green flag with the black stars on it that comes from an artist, an artist David Hammond's art, art, artwork. It, it was a biannual, you know, every two years. That art, the art community had these big old things, and and this was one of the, this one of the things that came out one year, one year. I should research exactly what year what year it was and everything like that. What I really need to do is talk to the artists. I don't know how that's going. To, I don't know how the time to do it. I try to email them. I, I have to find I have to find somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody. To figure it out. Right. <laughs> that's what I'll do. Uh, so oh yeah. So I said a little bit of the set. So that's that, that set there. Uh, that's the flag from David Hammond from the art piece right there. Over here now. This here. This is interesting because this guy. He actually uh, looks. He's, he's, he's just a scholar. He's just a scholar. I saw on a, on a um, what do you call that? On a calendar, right? Uh, but he looks look, look, looks a lot like Louis Latimer, though. I just I don't know. It just looks a lot like Louis Latimer to me. You know, Louis Latimer, the guy that hung out with uh, Thomas Edison and Alexander Graham Bell. Come on, you can't get no more ironic than that. Um, and then that's an old. That's a a, a picture of Africa. Before it got carved up by the colon uh, the uh, colonizers, uh, like that. Oh yeah, up there. That's there's there's a picture. Uh, the the little girl there. That's uh, my friend Hanan. But well, actually, this um, uh, that's that's her father there. That's Hanan. Hanan and me talking, conspiring. I hang out. With, I hang. I hang. I hang out with conspirers a lot. <laughs> What are we comp conspiring? I'm not telling you. It wouldn't be a conspiracy if I told you. Anyway, so that's an honor like that. And that that picture there, that's a that's a like an father, and that's that's me, and that's and that there is a, a Sikalela, um, and he's um, he's just a cat that I know. Uh, you know, they always show me little reverence because I'm an old guy. You know what I mean? But he, he's a staunch. Cold staunch, stone cold staunch, you know, a uh, Zulu man. So he was, you know, does the Zulu. That's why I have that Zulu headdress on up there. Oh, and this, that, that, this one here. That's me and my wife and Alice. 
Yeah, Gertrude right there. I really like this picture because it looks like we could be any place in the third world. You know what I mean? The so-called third world. You know, we could be in Jamaica. We can be in Mali. We can be wherever we can be. Because, you know, Ross is all over the world anyway. Any, any place like that. All over Africa like that. So I like that picture. Oh, here, this is a, a thing, a, a Henry Dumas article from a, a East St. Louis paper or St. Louis paper, whatever like that. Right there. That's my yoga mat right there. I do my floor exercises in the morning. Oh, here. Yeah. I never showed you all this. This is just a full paw dog tag, dog tags with the Houston mother. They don't do it the way they did it, but they don't have my, uh, have my AFSC, the, my, my job thing on here. You can't see it. But, uh, because my last name, my name, middle initial, my job thing, usually that would have my social security number, which is your, your, uh, number, you know, your, your, what do you call that number? Whatever number we are in, in the, in the service. And then it has A positive because it's my blood type. Well, your dog test has to have your blood type on it just in case, you know, well, because you're in battle. Just in case something happens, you know, you can try to get some, some, well, at least they won't put nothing on you that will kill you right away. Oh, and then I have, I have the, 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 the religion. They usually had the religion there. I list my religion because it's easy to write, I write deist. <laughs> but brother, you be reading out of the Christian, well, the, the Gala Christian Bible. Yeah, I read a lot of stuff, you know. Anyway, I'm, uh, I said, I used to, people ask me what I was, and I would say, deist, why would I do that? Well, <laughs> because it's the closest thing. The deist, the, 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 that's the one where they say that uh, basically God put everything together, then he said, oh, see ya, wouldn't want to be ya, and split. <laughs> so you got <laughs> you got to figure things out. But lately, um, um, uh, because I'm a follower of Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., which I will, will deal with him uh, tomorrow, uh, um, he causes herself an eclectic pluralist. So I'm an eclectic pluralist, but, you know, it's easier just to say deist. Uh, you know, it basically means I can go to any church or whatever. I can go, I go, any, I can only go to any worship kind of thing. You know, I've been in Hindu temples. I've been in, in Buddhist temples. I've been in the Holy City of Tuba. I've been in, uh, I've been to Tabernacle with the Rastas. I've been, I've been about a bunch of places. And then here's this uh, Vietnam era veteran thing. It's one of my dog tag things. Like that. What else do I have here? That's all you need to know from there. Oh, no, that's not all you need to know. The normal radio, uh, the normal radio uh, banner, stanchion, whatever you want to call it, that my wife stitched up. That's my wife. I told you about that before. Like that. Like I said, this is just a roster. See, I have, I have great respect for the rosters because any place you're on the planet, Look, there's a, there's a couple of cultures that couple, yeah a couple of cultures that are all all over the planet. Chinese all every, every place right, and the Rastas every place. So I, wherever I go, I hang out with the Rastas right. Not for the herb stop. You know? <laughs> they've got culture, you know, and because I'm an elder, they you know they have some sort of reverence, I suppose. What else do I have to show you here? Well, that's it. I mean, you know, that's all you can see on the set. The the flag. Oh, got the American flag over there, and over there, that's a great picture of me. That's on my resume, cover my resume, which I don't really use anymore. But if you really look at that picture, there's that T-shirt I have on is a Steve Biko, Steve Biko T-shirt. And then well, I got the talking drum. My talking drum is in South, is in South Africa. I get back to it. I got to start beating on it, you know. Because you know what you use a talking drum for? That, that, that's supposed to be called, you know, the king had something to say to call people together. Hey, king's got something important to say. So that's great. That's my understanding. Everybody has different understandings of different things. So that's it. Every Saturday we try to explain to you uh, why we do what we do uh, as far as the Gullah readings every day. And um, it's coming along. It's kind of interesting. I mean, you know, uh, you get used to it. And, and you know, I've only been doing this for, I guess, about a year. Maybe, you know, maybe about a year. I don't know. Um, and I just want to keep on going. I, I figure sooner or later I get the language. Yeah, not that I can go down to, I'm going to try to go down to South Carolina sooner or later, visit Reverend Leo, see what they're doing down there with that movement. Um, but uh, I do want to get down there, you know, just to uh, reconnect. I reconnect a lot of places. Like in Brazil, I know some people in Brazil because I had an un unbelievable experience in uh, uh, Bahia, you know, Santiago Bahia. And then in West Africa, in, in Gori Island, as well as uh, uh, Gambia, I know my peoples are there. And then, you know, Belize, Panama, I know my peoples, you know, my lineage has been all, all, all over there, you know. 
uh, Cuba, right? Strangely enough, not Jamaica. I wasn't connected with Jamaica at all. Yeah, but Cuba, uh, Panama, you know, um, Guatemala, northern Guatemala, um, like that. Okay, so I, 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 I've, I've talked enough on our, our, our Gola Saturday to uh, tell you about the... Oh, I've got one more important thing. I have a new chair. See? I got a new chair. This is chair. This chair has a footstool that I don't really use over there, but I do. I will. Where's the footstool at? Hey, hey, footstool. Like that. Matches. Nice. Leather. Hey, what can you say? All right. That's it for me. Um, T from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. <laughs>